Hey gang, Jack Lair here. I uh, decided to do the uh, man shed tour. As you can see, the doors are open. We're going to go in and take a look. Now, this is some stuff that I've pulled out to sell off on eBay. And Project Mine box. I've got some speakers down there that I haven't hooked up. Stepping in, just give you a kind of a brief look around so you know where we're going to be going. And I'm going to start by turning right over here. And I've got some boxes there right now. But this is kind of my workbench. So whenever I'm playing with projects, right now I've got my laptop on there and a bunch of uh, PC games that I've been kind of sorting through and testing out. And got a TV back there that the... Oh, I forget what it's called, but... It doesn't light up anymore. I managed to short it so that I got half of it working, but I need to replace the whole thing. I've got my projector up there. Uh, I usually bring it out for parties and such. Also some, some of the posters that I've picked up. Moving to the other side. Got a Wii case that I just hang up. These are all empty cases. Just because uh, when I pick them up, I go ahead and keep them in case I ever need them for when I start collecting Xbox 360 when GameStop's getting rid of those. Got uh, some random boxes up there. Got my drawers that I have with cables. All the AV cables are down here. Uh, miscellaneous cables are up there. Firewire, uh, splitters, things like that. Uh, stack of Atari games that I haven't gotten to test yet, as well as uh, just random bits that I haven't tested. Need to make sure that they work properly. Bunch more cases back there. My mic stands. Some of my VHS's. Some more VHS tapes back there. Some of the PC games that I've looked at over the time. Got some zip drives here. Some more PC games. And just some fun stuff that I like to keep around. America Online. And included with your Dell PC. Get six months free. More uh, cases. These are all empty, but as I find the games, I put them in there. Dynasty Warriors 3, you know, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, stuff like that. My laser disc player, uh, Halo 2, and of course my box of dart, Nerf darts. There's the phone, there's my drink. Got just some stuff tucked away back there, some hard drives that I pulled out of the old Xboxes. Down here I've got my wireless keyboard that I use from time to time. Got an Xbox. This one, the, the drive does not read. So what I do is I manage to mod this one and I can now uh, put the backup games on there. I've got PlayStation, fighting stick, more AV cables, power cables, miscellaneous stuff. Then I've got a spare Nintendo 64 down there. Uh, this is my old recording thing, if you've ever seen that. It's kind of sitting here. This is the screen from the TV that I made the shelves out of. And I use it, I put the projector against it, and it shows up really, really nice. I've also got my uh, sound mixer here that I currently don't use because I am the only one talking. Uh, I got my uh, ZX81 there, the Super Street Fighter 4 Xbox 360 Arcade Stick Tournament Edition that I got for free. Some random games sitting there. Got some Nerf guns just kind of laying around because my son and I occasionally pull them out. In here I've got Dreamcast games. And then I've got, uh, go ahead, Ooh, duck down here. For all the nerds, I've got my D&D uh, &D games, and then I've got all the strategy guides that I have. Some of them are duplicates, just because people are getting rid of them. Down a little bit, I've got my Genesis games, some boxed games that you're not going to be able to see because it's really dark. And then I've got the rest of them, or most of the rest of them in these cases. Down below, I uh, got a PlayStation 2 torn apart and some Game Boy that I've got torn apart. 
bunch of stuff that I took apart just to figure out how it worked and need parts so I haven't bothered to put it back together. Uh, I've also got some cases down here, some CDs, got my Atari, some Atari games in here for the Atari 5200, which of course I don't own a 5200, so good luck with that. A bunch of random connectors, Hey You Pikachu, the adapter, transfer pack, the mouse for Mario Paint. I've also got, tucked away back there, a Mac that needs a little bit of work, but I've been having fun tearing it apart. They're actually ingenious little devices. I'm really impressed at how compact Apple made those. Uh, I've got some spare consoles back here. Uh, most of them I don't have cables for, so that's the main problem why I still have them and I haven't sold them off. Maybe one day I'll get enough cables to trade to somebody for a Saturn with a Nerf gun. Got my 5200. I lied, I do have a 5200. 7200 I don't have. But still haven't found a power cable for this. Still looking. Got my PlayStation drawer, Nintendo 64. PlayStation drawer is currently empty because I've got them all on a shelf that you'll see in a minute. Nintendo 64, the dumbest drawer case I've ever seen because you can't tell what the hell they are. Various boxes and stuff up there. I've got most of my tools and random stuff hidden behind it. I'll go ahead and give you a peek. My router, things like that. This is still has the if you saw the video where I had those nice plastic ones, I've still got them in here. I want to make window boxes, or light boxes for them, excuse me, so that they'll actually light up. Another box of uh, VHS and my uh, LPs and laser discs are there. I've also got a wheel kicking around. My VCR is currently sitting back there. This is the couch where most of my son and I do our gaming while we're out here. Uh, it's currently got some stuff on it. It's got a few things that I picked up, uh, some boxes and some other junk that I need to put away at some point. And then a bunch of stuff where I don't have either the complete case or I've ran out of room on my shelves, so I need to put them there. Uh, these are the PC games that I still got from that giant box. These two boxes have my Xbox games in them for now because I don't have a spot to put them. All of those, the bottom four boxes, that one, that one, that one, and that one, are all uh, PC games as well. And these boxes actually came from Movie Trading Company. This is what they use to transfer uh, DVDs between stores. And the cool thing is, is that they just get rid of them. They don't reuse them as far as I can tell. So I was able to snag a bunch of them. Uh, a bunch more PC games, my box of various controllers that I don't really need right now, so they're just kind of hanging out there. I need to find a better spot for them. I plan on getting hooks and just having a whole wall of gun cons and various guns so that I can actually put them up against there. I've also got a fun little guy here. The back, the box is in horrible shape, but the Gravis PC gamepad. I remember this from when I was in grade school. They, when they started actually getting IBM PCs, they had these hooked up so that we could play Math Blaster. Uh, the PlayStation games are there. Nintendo games are there. I've got a few more random PlayStation stuff up here. I've got long boxes. I didn't think of those when I made these shelves. And then I've got my video CD collection, which for those of you who don't know what a video CD is, it's basically a CD that has a movie on it. And they were popular, well, they weren't really popular ever, but they were around for a little while. I've also got 
up here. Make sure I don't drop anything. My only 3DO game, which is Guardian War. I do not have a 3DO, which is why it just kind of sits there in shame. I don't think that disc would play anyways. I just got it because of the dollar. Got my little memory card, storage case, because why not? Now these are the lights that I use when I do normal videos. And I, I actually broke one of these bulbs right before I went on vacation and I need to get a new one to replace it. But you can see you've got the GameCube games over there, my two Master System games, which I don't have a Master System, so that's on the list to get to. Sega, Sega systems seem to be hard to find. Anyways, and then PlayStation 2 games, uh, most of them down there. I've got a few other laying around. This is a box of, well, except for the Windows 2000 Server Beta 3, is a box of... Uh, kids PC games and I'm probably going to donate those uh, or give them away to somebody who could actually use them. My One of my relatives actually helps uh, autistic kids and she took a bunch of them to help out. I've got two 8-track cases over there. I'm not going to wander over there because I'd kill myself while trying to film. But those both have uh, Super Nintendo games in them because that's the only way I've found to house them. I would like to get one of those for Super Nintendo because they would make sense, but I haven't been able to find one. Uh, I've also got just stuff I haven't put away or stuff I haven't found a case for. And the coffee table there is actually a radio mount out of a Humvee. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you know, but I was in the Army for six years, and they were throwing that out, and I kind of said, whoa, 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 you just let me have that. And it was our coffee table in the house forever. My Dreamcast box up there, the TV that I play everything on. Apologize for my reflection. Uh, Gears of War PC games, still haven't gotten that stupid thing to work. Thank you, Microsoft, for breaking that. But and then I've got the the setup from before PlayStation hiding over there, um, DVD recorder, Xbox. We've got the cleaning kit there for the Genesis slash Mega Drive. GameCube hiding behind there, Genesis and CD, Dreamcast. Atari 2600 or VCS, depending on whatever you want to call it. My top loader NES. My FC Twin, because I still haven't found a Super Nintendo that I'm willing to pay for. And my orange Nintendo 64 that I will never get rid of. Now, this box, a bunch of PC games there. That box there also has uh, empty cases in it. But I just haven't gotten around to do it. Now, I spaced this out, and for the most part, all of the controllers reach to the chair. But if you want to sit back, you have to get an extender, which luckily I have some for most of the controllers. And still need to pick up some for the Genesis. But the rest of them I've got, because the Genesis one will work for the Atari as well. And there's, of course, my man cave sign that I still have to figure out once I get everything arranged where I want to hang that. I don't know if I want to hang it on the outside or the inside. And then, of course, up here, I've got a bunch of stuff sitting on here. This is my Logitech remote, so that I can actually control a bunch of stuff. And then I have uh, Silent Hill. This is actually this one of the first two games that I bought when I bought my original PlayStation. I don't know how it survived this long. And then a bunch of ones where I just don't have the case for. So I'm waiting to get a hold of those, and like these I do, but I need to get them up on the shelf, and I need to sort them in. There's the box for my dream cable. All right, but that's uh, about it. And there's, of course, my wall of things that I've put up. 
So there you go, Ed and all the others who have asked to see this. Here is the uh, man shed tour. Sorry it is a wreck. I will uh, post again once I get it a little more organized. I'm also going to try and do a video sometime here soon of the the Menacer plug and play that I picked up. And other than that, thank you very much for watching and as always, play on!